Hey guys, Jonas here and I'm out here in this beautiful uh, white landscape and I just took this picture. Can you see how great it looks? And that's what I want to talk about today. I hope you guys in the Northern Hemisphere are now enjoying a nice and white winter like we have right here. We haven't actually had a whole lot of snow this year, but now when it's here, it really makes you want to go out and take pictures and shoot video, doesn't it? Well, the problem is though, uh, if you're shooting in automatic mode on your camera, uh, for example, aperture priority. I often find that when you get back and take a look at the photos, they turn out a lot grayer than they really should. Obviously, because of all the snow, they should have a lot of white in them, but they turn out darker than they should, and it looks gray and kind of dull. First thing I want to say is this is not necessarily your fault. Uh, you're not a bad photographer because of this, and it's not really the camera's fault either. It kind of is, but it's just doing the job that it's been told to do. The thing is that the meter in the camera is measuring the amount of light that is being reflected back to the sensor and then choosing the right settings accordingly. And uh, by settings, I mainly mean the aperture, shutter speed and ISO. And if you need to brush up on these, we have a video on these three settings, putting up the link here. And when the camera chooses these settings, it basically thinks, or it's programmed to think that uh, a percentage of the reflected light is going to be black, a certain percentage is going to be gray, and a certain percentage is going to be white. And this is displayed on a histogram like this. On a typical image, you're generally aiming for a nice spread, looking something like this. If an image is overexposed, the curve is pushed towards the white side, and if an image is underexposed, is more towards the black side. But the camera runs into a bit of an issue when I'm taking a picture like this, when obviously a much greater percentage of the frame is going to be white. The percentage of gray should be a lot less, but the camera still measures it as if there is gray in order to make that nice histogram curve. So the solution is that we need to tell the camera that the image is going to have a lot more white and therefore be a lot brighter than the camera thinks it is. And we do this by bumping up the exposure. It sounds a little contradictive because it is so bright outside. It doesn't really sound like you would be bumping up the exposure. You would be taking it down instead. But because the image is supposed to be a lot brighter than the camera thinks it is, we actually go up. This is the exposure compensation. Exposure compensation basically means that whatever settings that the camera camera chooses for an image, you will change that by either, you know, overexposing or underexposing the image. The number of steps that you choose is of course dependent on what the image is looking like. This is without uh, compensating for the exposure at all. Now I'm going to bump it up one full step. Right now at plus two. All right, that was obviously a little bit too bright, I think, but uh, you get the point. It looks a lot wider. You can, of course, make a lot of adjustments of color and exposure in afterwards as well. And this is good to do, for example, if you're taking your social media shots with your phone or if you're working with small action cameras like a GoPro. I'm hoping that this is going to help you get some nice shots when you're out there having fun in the snow. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in another video.